It's the morning market minute at UPBOptionMillionaires.com, Thursday, July 23rd, 2015. Look at S&P 500 futures pulling back a little bit here from overnight highs. This is the Greece and China lows, the cheek lows, as I like to call them. See the move up we had? Is this some sort of a cup and handle formation? So we've got two scenarios going on. I love to be Captain Ambiguous, Captain Obvious as well. Uh, we have long-term trend line support here that we held last uh, two weeks ago with the cheek crises. Uh, also heading back to March and earlier this year. We also have this possible cup and handle formation that could send stocks to new all-time record highs, which would defy logic because earnings reports have been spectacularly awful. Aside from ISRG, look at ISRG yesterday, moving up above long-term trend line resistance, a chart I brought up prior to the earnings report with a big green arrow that it was going to head higher, and sure enough it did. But uh, looking for a move to over 600 in ISRG shares before the month of July is out pretty wild. But and look at a stock like IBM, which was trying to get back up into the channel again. Uh, did not pull back significantly. Hold, held at 160 level. We'll see if we get a bounce in that. Uh, it's funny because on, you flip to the other side of the earnings reports last week. You had Netflix rallying to record highs. You had Google, which uh, Google reversed course pretty significantly yesterday, but a big spike to the upside for Google. This week, though, not so much. I mean, we have Amazon after the bell today. That's something to keep an eye on, a breaking out here to new all-time record highs. Uh, we also have other stocks this morning that reported earnings that are up big. Look at it came down to almost came down to support here on Sandus. Sandus is over the 60 level. We have analysts actually raising targets up to the $85 level this morning. But we have American Express. I was actually in the call contracts. I still am, but I'm talking past tense because I don't think I'll be able to sell them this morning at the 7950s. Uh, the stock is down, nearing support. Looks very bearish for the company as their uh, numbers just are not impressing investors. And we have long term. This is something I look for a long term entry here when we came down, come down to support on uh, Caterpillar. I was talking about this at the end of 2015. I said this is probably the last time we're going to see Caterpillar over 100 for quite a long time. And look at this. We got down to this level here pre market. It looks like we're headed to about the $73, $74 range. And we can get a significant bounce up. Maybe we'll breach it a little bit as we did back in 2011. But I think ultimately we're going to be back over 100 bucks down the road for Caterpillar. All right, it's supposed to be a market minute. It's been two, but we do have earnings after the bell. Amazon, some stocks to watch today would be Twitter. Twitter, the price target was downgraded today uh, by Breen Capital. But look at it, sitting along support earnings report next week. And if you look at a stock like Google that ran up into earnings, this might be something to go out on a limb for Twitter. Earnings report to send it up back up the trend line resistance and maybe break that. All right, UPB, it's the Morning Market Minutes. I've seen the chat room at OptionMillionaires.com. Also, live free webinar, Options for Dummies. Perfect person to teach that course would be me. Uh, it is today at 11 a.m. free. Uh, check the link at uh, OptionMillionaires. It's uh, up on the blog. Uh, you can also stop in the chat room. I'll give you the, the link. All right, UPB, I'll, I'll see you. Everyone have a great trading day. Goodbye.